Welcome. Uh, I thought I'd put together a fairly brief video um, on the progress on this CNC conversion. Uh, it's never been never ending. Um, actually getting very close to being done now. Uh, as you can see, I've got, <coughs> excuse me, I built a door for the front of it. Uh, it's made out of .080 plexiglass. Uh, pretty much made the whole thing out of scrap uh, material that I had. Uh, the actual only piece I had to buy was the uh, actual door. It's 18 by 24. Uh, piano hinge. Uh, extra handles that I had laying around for this and that. I made use of. Um, should work pretty good. Um, I have ample room in here still to get in here to adjust anything and put anything on it so they won't interfere with uh, getting in the way of anything. Um, should pretty much retain any chips, uh, coolant from splashing, flying out and stuff off the uh, end mills and whatnot. Um, I do have control panel part here done uh, I got to get into my bios yet on the computer uh, enable that for the parallel port um, other than that it's all wired um, I've got obviously I got the monitor Mach 3 um, it's loaded this is my new computer system um, this is the e-stop uh, those not familiar I talked about that in a prior video Apologize for the light back here because it isn't the best. Change around a little bit better. You can see a little bit better. That looks a little better. Um, it's engaged when you put or disengaged when you push it in. Uh, the arrows illustrate you turn it to the right. Uh, it disengages it. We'll turn the system back on. Um, all this does is break negative. Um, coming from the power supply. A pin 12 on the G540 uh, that will stop uh, all the processes of the G540 uh, as far as your spindle, uh, all the steppers, uh, home switches, and whatnot. Uh, the switch down here directly below it is, the, is just the power switch for the power supply. Uh, it's all wired, I just haven't got it hooked up yet. Uh, I'm gonna put these on breakers. 30 amp breakers. Um, I'm still uh, waiting the uh, relay for the VFD. Uh, I'm gonna pick that up tomorrow. Uh, I got uh, quite a few of them around, but I'm gonna pick up a new one. It comes with the wire and harness and everything, and I'll just splice into that. Uh, I'll mount that up in here somewhere. Uh, still got plenty of room over on this side, but as you can see. She's all wired up and uh, putting her good to go. Um, I tested all my leads uh, with the multimeter prior to hooking everything up so I know there's no broken wires in between it nowhere so I shouldn't have no problems there. Um, a lot of guys don't even bother with it but um, if you see down here at the very bottom uh, I put the uh, earth ground on there. I got my uh, shielded wires grounded to that for the home switches. Um, I got a ground that comes off that earth ground. It runs down into the um, mounts to a water pipe down in the basement. It bolts to it for an earth ground. Uh, then I got the ground coming from there uh, right over to the power supply itself. Uh, so I should be good to go there. I shouldn't have no problems. Never get electrocuted, don't want that. Um, this is only 48 volts. Uh, it puts out per near 8 amps, so, uh, so it's a pretty torquey amount of uh, current that's going to be running through it, so uh, better to be safe than sorry, I suppose. Uh, once I get the BIOS, get in the BIOS and change this over, uh, get the parallel port. Um, all enabled and all ready to go. Um, I'm going to start doing the configuration on it. Um, 
that's going to be quite time consuming to get everything going right, uh, a reference and everything as far as my uh, negative, negatives and positives on directions of access to home. Uh, it's not hard to do us. It's going to take time to get everything set up. Um, I did get a new computer. Uh, my computer is uh, down below on this shelf down here. Uh, it's not a brand new computer. It's a refurbished one. I uh, picked it up off of eBay from a computer company. Um, no fly-by-night guy to sell on one. It's a regular company that uh, evidently buys them and fixes them up and stuff like that. That's all they specialize in, so um, you shouldn't have to worry about that. They are, know what they're doing, so um, it's a Dell uh, Dimensions 4600. Um, I've got three of these actually now. Um, we have two of them and then I got this one here and I've been happy with that them so I figured I'll go ahead and get another one. Um, it's got uh, four gigs of uh, RAM. Uh, that's memory. <coughs> uh, so I shouldn't have no problems running any programs there. As uh, far as speed wise it should be uh, good to go there. 500 gigabyte hard drive so I'll definitely have ample space there for all the excess I'll be saving and this and that. Um, I'll be primarily uh, doing all that on the other computers anyways and just save it to uh, uh, CDs uh, and load it in this um, to run the program uh, just as I did everything I've already got on it. Uh, just saved whatever I wanted to save on the disk compressed it as a zip file, save it on a disk, decompress it, I extract it now onto this computer. Um, other than that, I'm pretty much good to go. Um, I need to get uh, the relay like I mentioned, uh, get that all installed, get that all wired in. There's five wires that runs to that. Uh, I do believe this is two of them. <laughs> Or three of them that ran up to the G540. Uh, two of them will run to the back side um, of the dip switch for the speed control there. Uh, so that way I'll have, <coughs> by using a relay, I'll have control manually or uh, through Mach 3 a control on the spindle. Um, and what I'll do more than likely is program all that in my CAM program. Uh, per job for as far as spindle speed and it'll once it switches to that program or whatever it automatically go up or down uh, whatever is required for that job really um, be a lot of trial only error there till I get all the spindle speed and the IP I'm all figured out uh, per cut and everything and uh, make note of that uh, that's what's nice about your files so you can just make a note in it uh, or save it to uh, automatically go to that speed or, or what have you uh, as far as your spindle speed um, that pretty much covers it I can't really walk too much further back in the back room back here is uh, kind of narrow <laughs> as you can tell um, other than that I'm just about ready to go uh, I'm really looking forward to getting this thing all converted or all uh, configured it's been a long time since I've done any CNC uh, stuff. Uh, like I mentioned, I've done it before uh, many years ago, but uh, it shouldn't be too much uh, of a headache to figure it all out. The things are so advanced nowadays that um, saves a lot of headaches. Makes a hard job easier, actually, uh, for me at least. Um, even though it's not mechanically inclined, uh, with Mach 3 they've got excellent tutorials, um, PDFs that you could save as well, uh, videos that you could save. Um, I put quite a few of them on YouTube if you haven't already noticed that as well on my site. Um, I just want to stop in real quick, like put together the video for this though. And, uh, hopefully in the next videos, then from here on out, it's going to be on. Uh, probably a couple of videos of configuring of this and that. Um, problems that I had wrote, wrote, ran into. Um, 
I want to put them online so people could see that or oh, that too so it'll maybe help somebody else down the road um, I've watched a ton of videos on configuring and this and that that's really helps and I'm really glad them people did too so um, I'm pretty much going to do the same thing so help somebody that's setting them up and going through the same procedures and hopefully once I get that all done I'm actually going to start doing the machine and other parts um, I will do quite a few dry runs uh, I'll put together videos on them as well uh, the first actual part that I do after I do a couple dry runs uh, I'll probably do uh, one or two parts in wood um, with the correct tooling and everything just to make sure everything looks right um, comes out like it's supposed to uh, it's a hard wood uh, once that's done and I'll actually the first program I'm probably gonna run um, once I'm happy with the results uh, will be that pro mod rear end uh, I've got a lot a lot of projects in the work the drawing is going to be um, I want to pretty much stay focused on getting that rear end done um, and do some tests on it uh, and then I'll just go from there um, should I need to uh, change the drawing or any of the speeds the tooling or whatnot um, quite possibly be putting it on the market by um, possibility before uh, fall of this year um, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it uh, thanks for watching the video guys and hopefully the next ones will be on the configuration and getting this uh, thing up and running